We shall keep it here for safekeeping. But why, Skeletor? Why would you want to keep it here all out in the open? I want you to hold on to it here just in case I have to set off a couple more nukes. And if I have to nuke the SMPB-1 Manor, obviously this would be in there with it. And also, this is where most of the guards are going to be during the invasion, so... You also being here would heavily protect this power crystal. It doesn't matter when it is, you need to be with it at all times. I can tell this crystal has incredible powers, and it could be crucial for capturing planets to come. And just think about it. Our nation is going to earn a big plus once we get this 15th planet. And with this amulet on our side, there is no way anyone could step in our path. This is why I tasked you to guard it out of everyone else. Because I trust you the most. This is where we depart for right now. I have a meeting to attend. I'll see you on the other side. What do you mean when he said it had immense power? I can just feel it surging from the gem. I must protect it at all costs. They should be here in three, two, one. Ugh. We're the only ones that were able to come back to the lab. Well, um, we're back and, uh, it did not work out. Well, there's always a plan B. Just put away my portfolio. Alright, everyone meeting around my desk. We need to discuss our next agenda. Oh, no, right now, no, I'm playing AFK Ray League of Tower Defense. Let me see. You're not playing JFK Rakes a Leave Ladder Fence or whatever you said. You're playing Agario VR. Uh, excuse you, it's pronounced Agario VR. Okay, whatever, let's go. Wait, is that glue? Oh yeah, it's my G fuel. But it's, it's, it's glue. Well, it has a D on it. Well, what about the L-U-E? Oh, come on, let's, let's go. No, 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 come I just on. figured out how to split. Come on. Yeah. Just get that out of the way. I'm sure you are wondering why I called you here to this meeting. And I'm wondering why I can't play Agario! It's Agario! Shut up, Lemmer. Ah, we go! Shut up, Clyde! No, I don't understand why I just can't play freaking oh. golf! As most of you know, we have lost World War 17. What do you mean we lost? Are our friends okay? W what do you think? <laughs> However, I have compiled a fully-fledged plan on how we can get back at Skeletor and save everyone. Everyone? Everyone. Everyone? Everyone. Get off of me! So in short, as I was compiling this plan, I managed to locate a radioactive signal coming from Central Plush Kingdom. I have located it with a drone, and it turns out to be a power crystal that I think will be power enough to plow through Skeletor. But how do we get to it? I have an answer for that as well. I am planning on building a super weapon, very original, to plow through every last god standing in the way of this amulet, and then we all can just run up to it and just take it for ourselves. 
I like omelets. But wait, what if the cops show up before it's done being built? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a solution for that. But fortunately, though, Mewtwo could probably just teleport us somewhere where there is hopefully no one, and then I could just finish it there. Hopefully, if he's if he has the telekinetic capacity to teleport all my robotic parts. Okay, yeah, maybe that's a problem. Which one of us is gonna take the gem and kill Skeletor, though? Well, it doesn't really matter who we give it to, but not Mewtwo. He's missing a leg. He will not be able to sustain Skeletor's attacks. F*** off! It sounds good. When are we doing this thing? Right as soon as I am done building it. Any other questions? <laughs> yeah, can I go back to playing Agario now? <laughs> oh. No, you may not go play, because I have not gone through everything yet. I hadn't noticed the flaw of my plan as the cops might invade this area before until now, until you said it to me too. So, we're gonna need a couple people to scout to see if we could find any help. We're gonna need as much of it as possible. Any volunteers? I'll go! Very well, Meta Knight. Step forward. I'll go. Perfect, Roach. No? No one else's? How about the two knobheads in the group? I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Perfect, let's get to work. <laughs> You all know why I called you here. Give me the loop. How many poisonous capsules have you all created since the war ended? Uh, no. And my first day results. That's what you promised me. Anyone else have any comments? No? Splendid. Now let's continue, shall we? <sighs> Alright, fill me in. Give me an approximate number. How many of the remote controlled poison capsules have y'all created? Uh, uh, 237, sir. Th 365, sir. Uh, uh, 393? Uh, I, I made 104, sir. Ooh. Hmm. It seems we have a bit of procrastination going on within our scientists. So tell me, Tails, do you have any good reason that you underworked your obsessions? Honestly, is the best policy. I didn't have any reason in particular, I just... Didn't make that much. Hmm. How unfortunate. How very unfortunate. You see, Tails. I don't appreciate people who underwork themselves. I don't appreciate people who slack and don't get things done on time, no matter the excuse. So, my fox friend, I have a deal to make with you. You have two options. You can either face the death penalty, or you can be sent to the torture chamber. But, 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 but sir, those are... I don't understand. Well, I'm not a fan of repeating myself, so I think we're gonna go with option two instead. But wait, no, no, sir, this isn't right! No, no stop! Please, stop! <laughs> Ugh, again. Necrozma, throw him forward. Huh? Miss Window, do what you do best and give him the everything massage. I'm 
sorry. What are you doing? Stop the the job. <sighs> Alright boys, get back to work. Make as many as possible, and if I see the slightest bit of decrease, it's your head. Is that understood? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Perfect. Then everything is still going according to plan. Get back to your labs, boys. We got big work to do. Oh, oh my god. I think I just did that. Jeez, there's nothing but a ghost town in here. I'll say, just don't do anything stupid. Yell at me, you idiot. Oh, hush, Clyde. Ugh, come on, man, and I, we've been walking for hours. Can we go back to the lab, or at least to the city where there's actually people? Why did you bring us to this place anyway? Shh! Don't tell me to shush, Roach. No, don't shut up! Look over there! Oh, 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 make a sound. Don't make a sound. Oh, where is it going? Oh, where is it going yet? Oh, 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 and if anyone else is behind the wall and tries to come up, let me and Clyde open fire on them too. Alright, you ready? Okay. That was a mouthful. Can you repeat that? I'm ready. Alright. Three, two, one. <laughs> Everyone fire! Huh? Huh? <laughs> That missed. I need to take their guns. Job well done. Well, that was easier than I thought. Chili dogs. Oh shit. You're pathetic. Get it off, get it off, get it off! Hey, this isn't Narnia. Take this 
Bloody screen! Wait, wait, Nick, you need to get close for this. <laughs> Is there anyone back here? Is there anyone back here? There's no one back here? No? There's more of them. Uh -huh. Wonder attack! You two, run down there! You, protect the prisoner! You, come on! Oh, wait a minute. Come on, cock door this way. Ah! Ah! Um, do you need some help? <clears throat> you know what? I'm not even gonna use my gun on you. <laughs> Stupid Cupid. <laughs> wait, wake up! Cock door, wake up! Wake up! This is revenge for Kurt. <laughs> Get that off my chest. What? Deroach! Deroach! <laughs> oh my god, is he okay? Yes! Let's go! Yes, Deroach is finally gone! Why is that a good thing? No, you don't understand. This man is a criminal. We were just harboring him just because. He is an actual criminal. He stole a chest containing a literal demon once, and he got the shit of me beaten out of by Kirby because he thought in that chest was his cake. Are we even going to check if he's actually dead or not? Yeah, how do we even know if he's dead? Well, no, you don't have to check. Yeah, he's alive. Fine, we could keep him. Hold on, let's go get whatever prisoner they were talking about. How'd you even hear that? Yeah, we're coming, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Susie? How are you here? How did you survive the- Hold on a sec. Ugh. How are you here? How did you survive the bomb? I don't know. Whatever, we can talk about it later. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Ugh. Let me grab the roach and then hold on hands with me. We're getting out of here. Boss, some invaders took the control point. They fleed, but I'm still alive. And I've placed a tracking chip on one of them. Get here soon, boss. I took a bit of a beating during those fights, didn't I? Maybe I should take it easy for a little bit. Why is it that every time I least expect it, I come across this wanted poster? <sighs> It has to have been here for at least three years now. <sighs> is it any outdated? I know this area is well visited. <sighs> I suppose that would mean it's still relevant. <sighs> what is there to do anymore? 
all I wanted was my goddamned revenge! We were deemed disadvantaged ever since the War Vulture vs. Legendary, and I can't even pull an assassination with the one who caused it. Sometimes it's hard to not feel useless. But in the end, if you've sticked to something long enough, you may as well just go through with it. I will kill Skeletor. No, you will not, Marshadow. What? Who said that? <sighs> Show yourself, you coward. Marshadow, you know who I am. Turn around. <sighs> Circuitry. Circuitry, I'm not going back. I've spared my life to this task to kill a Skeletor. I'm not going back. I'm not! Quit your belly aching, Marshadow. You and I both know the circumstances. Our leader and most of our strong forces are down. We need to fall back and regroup in a different timeline. You know it's best for us. Shut up, Zerkatry. I know what your deal is. You always tried to become the leader of this team. That's why you wanted to cross my gun. But tell Nihiligo to piss off because I know he's in on it too. I left this group specifically with those people because I trusted them the most. The reason why I didn't ask you to come is because I didn't want you to come. I would never meant to join this group. I was only in it for my own desires. I could care less if you perished with the rest of them or not. Will you shut up for more than two seconds? Of course, we all wanted to continue the legacy, but only one person can do it in the first place. No one was closer to Necrozma than you, my friend. And somehow you're the only one left, so... Come on, let's leave this world. We don't need these people, you don't need to take their pity. They don't need us, and we don't need them. Skeletor's already won, so what's the point in staying here? I don't care whether it means dying or not. I will at least attempt to kill Skeletor in the last days of this universe. I don't care how many people die. I don't care what happens to our old group. We are not acquaintances anymore. We are not any group. We are not the Ultra Beasts. I am not in your group anymore. I've broken apart a long time ago, and I want to keep it that way. I know you want to kill Skeletor for what's happened in the war. I know you want to kill Skeletor because of what happened in our war. But you gotta think logically about this. There is a fat chance that you could actually do it. He's already gotten too much power. I don't know if you are actually aware of this, but he harnessed the Starman's power. How do you think he survived the blast? He didn't just absorb it, he stored it. He's saving it for when he needs it the most. If we launch an all-out attack on him, he'll use the energy to obliterate us. He'll reduce us to ashes. I know that circuitry, but like I said, either he's dying, or everyone else is. Why are you so adamant about this whole thing? You're, you're basically asking to be killed. Because circuitry, me and him's history go far back than before I ever met you. <sighs> well, I attempted, and I failed. I suppose I'll let Nihiligo know that you're not interested anymore. Uh, wait a moment. Zerkatry. You're gonna contact Nihiligo. How do you usually contact our fellow Ultra Beasts? We don't use the devices of these civilizations. Of all people, I thought you would use them too. One moment. <laughs> Huh? What the hell was that? That, my faded friend, was a brainwave. I used brainwaves to telepathically connect with Nihiligo and the others. Say, how long have you not known this? Shut up, Zerkatry. I'm bringing this up because this could be very beneficial to the war. 
If you can use brainwaves to connect with everybody, you could connect with the remaining survivors. We can assist them with their plan. And if they manage to reach Skeletor, we could send brainwaves to the entire army. Whoa, slow down there, my antsy little shadow bug. I never said I was inclined to do any of this. I don't care about these people. I don't even know this planet's name or ruler. Hear me out, though. Let's say they actually make it to Skeletor and get past their elite guard. We can send signals to the entire Skeletor army to get them to assist us. But why would they, Marshadow? Well, knowing Skeletor, he probably force-fed them all poison capsules. So let's say you were to send brainwaves to everybody at the climax of the fight. The poison capsule shouldn't just open automatically. The signal has to go out through a bunch of transmissions to get to there. And that's where you come in. You send the signal to them, and during that time period, maybe Maybe we can convince them and some of them to fight alongside us with the couple minutes that they have left. And if it's successes, then we could just bring everyone back after. But I don't care about these people. Shut the f up, Circuitry. You know you're mad at Skeletor too, and you know I'm more powerful than you. So I'm forcing you to do this. F and I, Lego, and f the group. Just come with me, we're going to kill Skeletor. I know, I want to kill Skeletor too, but come on, man. Are you for real? It's happening, my friend. We're doing this. Uh, what do I get in return? Um, I'll let you have, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, it's really hard to do. I'll let you have my planet of guacamole. Sold, let's go. You know the drill, boys. Search these fields of the fallen. Retrieve any powerful foe's bodies. They will all become my slave servants. Some notable ones in particular, maybe get Kirby, Sonic, Mario. Get to work, boys. Where's Mario's body? <sighs> Wait a minute. I know who has his body. Project Multimorph. No wonder Mario's body's not here. He wanted to wait for me to kill- Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. There's no way he should be able to receive his morphing stats if he was dead. Oh my goodness. I better formulate a plan for this. Ugh. We're almost there. Are we there yet? 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 <laughs> this isn't fair. Why do I have to drag the bodies? Clyde, you don't have to carry Susie. She's not dead. Wait, what did you say? You've been playing dead this whole time? Yeah. Stupid <laughs> Echo. Hmm. 
All right, guys, we've arrived. What? Oh, Kai, don't throw the bodies. Yowie. Huh? Oh, I guess that's them. You guys can levitate, you know. Or with the power of video editing, we could just cut clips. The route needs healing! Well, did you find anyone? Oh. That, that, that's it? Well, I guess most people are dead by now. And then I took us out in the middle of nowhere and a bunch of people jumped us and they beat up the roach and- We didn't get jumped, we jumped them. And, uh, yeah, the roach got hurt. Oh. Well, that's fine, I'll fix them later. I'm working on this right now. Is that supposed to be the super cannon? Uh, yeah, did you expect it to be bigger? Yeah, kinda. Well, it's still a work in progress. Uh, what is it that you're building? <laughs> is that supposed to be the super cannon? Here. That's not creepy at all. Uh, and uh, I know this is a terrible time to tell you, but I stabbed your daughter. Come on, let's just grab his body already. Oh. <sighs> so, did Skeletal buy it? Yeah, he ain't thinking any of it right now. What's our next objective? Plan B. Take this. It has the map and everything where you need to go. Ugh. I'll be on my way. Ugh. Let me know how things turn out. Ugh. You see, boss? They're right along the borders of the Plush Kingdom. Seems that way. Alright, good work, Drybones. You could take a couple hours off. As for me, we're gonna go rush them immediately. Uh, alrighty then. Mistake, my friend. Our fight has come to a close, Bald Eagle. You know, I was hoping you would show up for the party. What happened that day, Bald Eagle? Were you plotting for these very moments? Why didn't you join the fun with us when we were all having so much? <coughs> I wish I could say the same thing for you. 
I will admit though, you put up a good fight. But I just have to wonder, why didn't you use any stronger abilities on me? You could have wiped me out instantly. Ugh. Don't try to play dumb with me. I know the extent of your chain's powers and that cape. Huh, so you are aware. I was hoping you would say that. You're smarter than you look, Bald Eagle. But I do have one more question for you. Any final words? Will someone nerf your f***ing plot armor? I'm gonna miss this world. I had only hoped he would've put up a better fight. But he is right. My attire's extensive abilities are not one to mess with. Yeah. Uh, Susie, can you hand me that bolt? Oh yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 what happened? Huh? What's this bandage? Wait, the war! I, I fell from the sky and everything went black. Wait. This is Gad Labs. Uh, huh? Um, Egad? Huh? Huh? Oh, Pishita, good, you're awake. What happened out there? I passed out in the middle of the fight, and I blacked out, and I, I just wake up here. W uh, did, did we win? No. What? What do you mean we didn't win? I, I, I just remember fighting Skeletor, and I, I threw up a giant laser at him, and then, and then, and then... Oh my god, we didn't win the war. I just said that. I know you just said that, but I'm still so confused. I, I, I put so much power into that beam. Why did it not affect him at all? That is a really tricky question to answer. Well, in order for me to answer that, I need to go way, way back into other explanations and research. Alright, from the beginning. Have you ever wondered where we come from, Pea Shooter? How all of us come into existence? Uh, yeah, the same of my kind drop off seeds and that grows into people like me. And for you, you need a man and a woman to- Hush now, Pea Shooter, I didn't mean like that. That's exactly what we're programmed to know. Oh god, please don't tell me you're about to say that robots are taking over. Let me finish, Christ! We all come into existence because of SMPB1. We've always wanted him in our society. We don't really have a reason, we just wanted him in existence. Well, I mean, because he's our, our leader. Not just only that, Pea Shooter. To put it straightforward, the reason why that giant blast that you shot off didn't work is because Skeletor's attire is an essential weapon. Well, yeah, I know he uses his chain as a weapon, but it's just a chain. Why should it be able to just withstand that? That much energy and power? It doesn't make sense. Because, Peace Shooter, his chain isn't just any normal chain. 
It's one of many relics SMPB-1 has created. SMPB-1's job is to keep this world in balance in order to continue running. And in order to do that, he needs to create things such as that to keep population at the bare minimum. But to the chain, that is just the least powerful of all of them. The chain was merely to test all the abilities of every single element in the world. It is capable of casting off all types of attacks with every element in known existence. That's why that Lego robot thing that Zomboss created went up in flames. It's why those portals were created that were used to kill Mario by using two elements, fire and darkness. But darkness isn't an element, isn't it like a type of magic or something? Let's put it this way. There are two types of elements, natural and man-made. Natural is stuff like fire, ice, and electricity. Magic is man-made. The dark magic that he used was man-made. He got it from somewhere. And he has plenty left over too in case he never needed it again. I'm not entirely sure where he got the dark magic from, but it's likely a being made of this. If magic is a man-made type of element, then how can an organism be born with it? Like Pokemon, let's say. Well, that is because SMPB1 is the reason for all of our existences. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, how do you think that he's the leader of this place? I mean, no one in the right mind is just gonna elect some plant boy free of charge. It is also the reason why he is human and not like us. All of our designs, characteristics, and concepts can come from a variety of things. The internet, his own creativity, or some other inspiration. It's the reason for all of our existences. Okay, but what does that have to do with me not being able to kill Skeletor even with the Superstar? Because, while technically our creator is SMPB1, he actually uses a relic to create people. But didn't you say that he creates the relics too? Precisely. But the point of me saying this is just to tell you that we came from one of the relics he made. And, as I was explaining before, the chain is indeed a relic. But, it was one of his first. It was merely a test, just to test all the different elements in the world. But, since he was inexperienced with doing stuff like this, he needed a power source for his new relic. The chain actually came with a series of chains, Skeletor just managed to find one of them and just uses it as his primary attacking tool. And the fuel for that chain is... Elements, whether man-made or not. This still doesn't explain how he survived the attack. Come on, Peace Shooter. Put two and two together. He absorbed your attack. What? Are you sure? That doesn't sound right. I mean, sure, the chain has weird powers, but like, can it really just do that? Even the weakest of SMPP1's relics don't have minority abilities. In short, yes, it can just do that. He's saving that power for when he needs it the most. When the last of us attack him next, that's what he is saving it for. And he won't hesitate to unleash it. Okay, but... Wait, you said his attire's abilities. Does that cape have anything to do with it too? Funny you mention it, yes. I've known Skeletor for a very long time, because we both came into existence at around the same time. Because he came into existence around the time I became a scientist. And he was never that strong. He was just a weak little Koopa, about as strong as Bowser Jr. But that cape also has very similar abilities to the chain. It can absorb energy and elements, but instead of channeling that power into attacks, it harnesses the power to its user, hence Skeletor. That's why he's stronger than most of the beings in this universe. Whenever you got the star power, you rushed him immediately, but he just threw you away like it was nothing. That was an example of the strength his cape can channel, but he wasn't even able to fight back. He took every blow, and I didn't take a single blow. Besides being thrown, I guess. You know what? Bad analogy. He doesn't really necessarily channel it into strength. He more so channels it into durability. And a, and a little bit strength. He, he does gain a little bit from that. How do you know all this, anyway? Well, like I said, me and Skeletor go way back. Remember how I said in order to keep balance SMPB1 makes these relics? Not everything can go right. Sure, he programmed all of us to adore and respect him as his ruler, but anything can be undone. Whether it is mental abuse or just anything that falls along that line, it can alter a man's programming altogether. So you're saying none of us are real and SMPB1 is the reason he's a plush? 
Wait, what? Well, I mean, yeah, partially, right? You could say that SMP V1 is the reason he's a plush, but um, there are plenty of things that are still real. What we're standing on is real, what we're doing is real, we're real since he created us. It's just that we're programmed to think so many different things that not many of us can exceed those expectations. I just so happen to from intensive studying and research. And even without us, SMP V1 created us for his own show. He gives us our personalities, he gives us our character, and we all have a purpose for being alive. Take Bald Eagle for example, he was created to host the show. He never just had the idea, he was just created to specifically host the show with intensive powers for cool challenges. But that little shit didn't even give Lemmy a prize at season one. He's a perfect example of exceeding the expectations. Since he is almighty and has extensive abilities, he managed to exceed the expectation barrier as well. He probably did some research just like I did and just simply found out that SMPB1 is a creator, which is probably why he just didn't give a prize, just to maybe just to anger him a little bit or maybe just for fun. Uh, I can't answer that. Hey guys, what are we talking about? Oh, you woke up too? Huh? <laughs> Man, you look like you just got out of the shower! Well, you don't exactly look dressed for an ideal dinner party either, my friend. Whatever, so what's on our next objective, Egad? Oh, yeah, right, the, the super cannon. So, uh, how exactly did you break your spine again? Uh, I, I fell from the sky. Did... Didn't you see the movie? <laughs> That's funny. You got your spine snapped to an ostrich, shut up. Hmm. Halt everyone. You have arrived at your destination. We're here. Get ready to bust down the door. <laughs> Football! Hmm. Hey you got, can you talk about the bathroom? <laughs> Ah! Take over! <laughs> They're here. How did they find us? Doesn't matter. Get ready for a battle. Oh, shit. <laughs> huh? huh? Why'd you stop? Words. Ugh, damn, glad you saved me. Not like I wanted to. He said any last words, so I just assumed he was talking to himself. Get him before he fires another one. There, bud. <coughs> I mean, thanks, but I, I mean, I could have handled it myself. I, I had my hands on him. 
I guess that's it for the ones coming this way. Oh, we need to go help the others. They can very well still be in danger. Watch out! Ooh, a chunk of blood was big on that kill. <laughs> no, Super Bean! Oh, right on my break! <laughs> Build more energy. Huh? Time for you to... Mewtwo, you need to teleport us all out of here. I've been working on building up energy for that. <laughs> You're kidding. E swag. Damn, Egad. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Skeletor? There's four of us and one of you. One nearly dead, one geezer, one face down on the floor, and one war trooper who looks very inexperienced. I am plenty experienced, thank you. Oh yeah, another flaw in that sentence. There's not just one of me. Parabones is dead, Skeletor. Oh no, not him, I saw that. I have another friend with me. Huh? Uh, okay, there's no one behind me, I just had to make sure. Inner sloth. Oh, this is really, really bad. Mewtwo, get us out of here. The, they're trying to escape. Kill him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Mewtwo. Hurry up already. Do you not think I'm not going as fast as I can? Whatever, that doesn't mean nothing. We are in the lead. It doesn't matter now. We've killed at least half of them, and we have all their resources and plans right here. This was a victory in my book. <sighs> huh? <sighs> you. Uh... Did little buddy Mewtwo forget to teleport you away? Alright, listen up, kid. You're gonna tell me exactly what their objective is and how they're going to pull it off. If you don't, I squeeze every last drop of blood out of your veins. But if you confess and tell me, you'll merely be enslaved and join my army. I guess you could say it's a lose-lose, but would you rather die or still be alive? They're, they're building a super cannon to get to a power gem in the Central Park Kingdom. What? Really? How did they know about that? Huh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Alright. I guess you're free to go, kid. Wait, really? <laughs> no, are you kidding? <laughs> Battle results. Baby Mario, a bullet taken directly to the center of the brain. He is dead. Bombro, similar scenario, the bullet lodged in his frontal lobe, although he has internally bled to death. Baby Luigi, the bullet hit his upper spine. 
He is expected to live, but he may never walk again. Toadsworth took three bullets, one to the lower waist, one to the ribcage, and one to the brain. He is dead. Susie took a direct 211 volts of electricity directly to the body. She is lucky to and will live. Meta Knight took two bullets, one to the waist and one to the foot. He will live, but has lost a lot of blood. Greninja stabbed directly in the chest. Some vital organs were damaged. There is a chance he will live, but he may internally bleed to death. Duroch took a bullet to the back of the skull, the weakest part of the head. He's dead. Super Bean was impaled by Skeletor's chain. He is as well dead. Clyde took a bullet to the hip and has second degree burns all over his body from a gas blast. But he will live. He should also have second degree burns on his face from the gas blast. But is obviously living. Yeah, no kidding. Now can you stop narrating yourself and tell us what to do? Pichuta, you can't just expect me to know what to do every single time. This is a different situation. We have a new problem now. We are in a completely different place and I have none of my parts to finish the super cannon. Although to answer a question, I did find this. What? What? What is that? What it is, is a tracking device. That must be how they found us. I found it on Clyde's back whenever I was bandaging him up. And now... But... When did Clyde get the tracking chip on him? I don't know, Pea Shooter, it's unclear. But what we might know for certain is he probably got it during his previous battle. Oh... So... What do we do now? Everyone... Is in critical condition. And the super cannon... Is, is still not finished. Oh no... What are we gonna do? Well, it's not all bad. I fixed everyone's wounds and then I stitched them back together. I extracted all the bullets. I... I fixed everything. It's just the super cannon. This lab doesn't have the proper parts to finish it. Wait, all the medical attention is done? Y you don't need to do anything else for them? Nope, all they need is rest. But the super cannon, where are we gonna find parts for it in a time period like this? There's probably nothing left. Skeletor's probably looted every building in the kingdom. Well, it's not exactly the construction that needs to be finished. If you couldn't tell, it's done. What? Then why would you tell me it's not? Because, Pea Shooter, I don't have a power source for the super cannon. What? Well, then what were you going to plan to do originally without a power source? Well, it's not that I don't have a power source. It's, well, my old power source is back at the lab. And, unfortunately, I didn't tell anyone about it. Hence why it's not here, Mewtwo can teleport it without knowing about it. Why would you keep that a secret? Have you seen some of the idiots in this group? Yeah, it's probably best not. So we just need a power source. That's gonna be tricky. Indeed. I searched the whole lair, there's nothing. I would've made a backup, but this is an unexpected ton of events. This is going to play out poorly. And you don't have any idea where we can get a power source to power that thing? Off the top of my mind? No. So everyone is injured, it's gonna take weeks for them to recover, we need a power source for the super cannon that we're never going to find during this time period, and we're stuck in the building right next to the battlefield where there's probably millions of guards, so we couldn't leave anyway. Uh, think ye gad think? If you need a power source, I think I can help with that. What the? Huh? Meddling in others' objective territory is kinda my ordeal anyhow. Huh? <sighs> Dementio. Oh no, the big bad Dementio is here to ruin everything all over again. What do you want, Dementio? You're not wanted in this world. Calm down, old man. I only came to offer a kind gesture that would be the close to your super barrel conflict. Stop using your fancy ass demonic villain people talk and get out! We don't want you here! Whoa, let's not get so hasty. I am only trying to present usefulness with my actions here. Get to the point, Dementio. <laughs> Fine, I'll speak imbecile language. I have the answer to your power source problem. So you of all people decide to show up and you were eavesdropping on our conversations. Actually, I've been hanging out here spectating the war, but so you guys showed up out of nowhere and I decided to take a fun peek. No harm in that, right? I have the answer to your problem here, because I can supply power to this thing only if you wish. No way, this is obviously one of your twisted mind games. Now get out of here! Just say the word and I'll fire away. 
or I'll reduce him to molecules. Oh, please, the moment any of you try, this quadrant of the plush kingdom will be gone. Yeah, and how do we know there won't be any voodoo strings attached to your offer? Well, when you take into consideration, me and Skeletor haven't exactly had the best history between us. And there is some bad blood between us that I would like all washed away. So therefore, I decide to help your pity machine and supply it with power. That is really all. We both have the same motive. We both want Skeletor gone. And although I don't exactly want to help you guys, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay, so you can really supply this thing with all the power it needs? With good time? Yes. Pichiter, you can't seriously be trusting him. You do know he sent our world into submission once? Near submission? Huh, you make it sound so dramatic. Although, that would have been better. Don't you see what I mean? He's not to be trusted! He's ruined so many lives in the past, how can you just assume that he won't do the same to us right here, right now? We don't even know if his motive is legit. He could just supply this thing, steal it later, and then use it as a doomsday device. Hmm, not a bad idea. I'm glad I thought of it. But no, that would be the boring way of ending this world. Uh... What? This video isn't supposed to be interactive? Well, good, cause your path would suck if it was. <sighs> I'm going to supply this thing with power whether you like it or not. You don't have to trust me, but once I'm done, I will be forbidden from your eyes. Oh, is that so? What? Wait, what? He's gone. Well, he did say as soon as he's done supplying it with power, he would leave. Uh, I don't know what to think of this. Well, how do we test it? Uh, Mewtwo, can you do that thing where you, like, sense if there's any power urging from this or something like that? <sighs> Long story short, he supplied it with power. Oh, what? Really? Oh, that's, that's great. Then everything is still going according to plan. Oh, I thought we would never have it done on time at that rate. Wait, what do you mean at that rate? Well, we're on a time crunch, Pea Shooter. You see, I have a spy within Skeletor's army that is going to set off a bomb in a certain part of the plush kingdom, and that is when we strike. What, what, what difference does that make? That just causes more chaos. Precisely, Pea Shooter. Think about it. The bomb goes off, and then more of the gods will be drawn over to that area which is the exact opposite area of where we're going to be striking. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. So when's this guy gonna blow up this place? In exactly a week from now. So they have a little time to rest up, and we have a little bit more time to get prepared. So who is this guy anyway? Well, he's a tricky character, but he goes by the name Jojo. Okay, this is the place on the map. This is so stupid, why did they choose us out of all people to guard this place? Why are you asking me? Now can you shut up? I'm trying to reminisce about my past life. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Ugh, this is gonna be a lot more where that came from. Come on, what part of move forward do you not understand? All right, Enderman, teleport us back up. <laughs> <sighs> you there, blue one, tell me, what are you good for? <laughs> tell me, my blue fellow, what are you good for? <laughs> I see nothing. 
Tell me, little worm, what are you good for? You're good for nothing! Cargo! 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 We can help with the cargo! We, we overheard you guys talking about cargo! We, we can help with that! <clears throat> Get on with it, then. We're collecting ammunition. Get whatever you have in your shelter and bring it here. Now! <laughs> what do I do with this? I don't care, eat it. <laughs> oh jeez, there's a lot of them up there. What? <laughs> ah, good day's work. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. Don't move, don't speak, don't make noise. Just stay right here and let it happen. <laughs> <sighs> There's way too many of them. How do I go about this? Knife, hammer, flashbang, or pistol. Grenade! And then I said, you look stormed, what happened? <laughs> huh? 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 Air sh- <laughs> Intruders, get the cargo on the ship! You four handle them! <laughs> <laughs> Take care of our little intruder. You get out of here with the others. Guess we won't be needing these guys. What? No, please, we're getting useful. <laughs> Where did he go? Uh. That What the hell? Hey, hey, stop the car! Actually, run that jacket's over! <laughs> okay. Everything is still going according to plan. Now I just need to find some way out of here. You thought that was it. You thought that was it. You thought you could just flash me and run right away. Well. I am not one to play with, and you have just played the wrong card. Did you really think you could kill me? Did you really think you could kill me? I didn't think I could kill you. I knew I could kill you. <laughs> How very foolish of you. <laughs> I would let you suffer, but I don't got old Eddie. So, any last words? Yeah. Tell Satan I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the satisfactory. But tell Satan I said hi? What kind of final words are those?
I just killed someone with a deer antler. <sighs> That's nice, Parabones. So, uh, why'd you call me here exactly? Well, according to that frog thing, Egad is building a super cannon to blow through everyone at Central to get to my power gem. Yeah, must have been that giant gun that we all aimlessly walked by a million times. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. You don't suppose we can just transport the jewels somewhere else? No, if Egad were able to trace it to Central Plush Kingdom, no doubt he could just find it again. Well, if not that, we could just round up the nobility to counteract the cannon. Hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. <sighs> so, uh, what do we do if, uh, any of them show up? Define them. Well, you know, Dementio, the martial artists, that weird shape-shifting bug thing. <laughs> Dementio ain't shit after his downfall. The martial artists simply aren't strong enough. And that weird morphing droid? I've made him look like chum change once. I can do it easily again. Heh. <sighs> Guess it's safe to say domination is inevitable then, huh? Without a doubt in my mind. <sighs> so, who exactly are you going to resurrect once the globe is yours? Huh, <laughs> that's simple. Only the smartest scientist in the galaxy. <laughs> Skeletor, what the hell, man? I've been trying to contact you for 20 minutes! Dry bones, anything not important can wait until I'm free. Anything that is goes to the comms room. We've discussed this before, have we not? It is an emergency. What? What? What the hell? You gave Parabones a one-up, but not me. Your wounds weren't fatal, numbnuts. And all of our remaining one-ups are being held under our highest technological security, only to be used for necessities. You know what? I don't care anymore. I was calling because your emergency comms room wouldn't fucking pick up. What? <laughs> <laughs> not monitoring the comms! You're supposed to be monitoring them at all time, you dumb f <laughs> Oh shit. <sighs> come on, come on. What's the situation? The computer's been put in a shutdown. Any alerts or alarms that were supposed to come in after couldn't have made it here. What was the emergency anyway, Drybones? I don't know, I was just informed by the force that they heard a massive explosion coming from a distance. Oh, come on, come on. There's gotta be something that came in. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. New transmission received. Would you like me to play? Yes. Playing audio recording. <coughs> if anyone can hear this, <coughs> this is Burning Leo at, at Sector 5A. I've been stabbed and I'm about to die from blood loss. <coughs> we're being, we're being invaded. <coughs> they are there. But sir, what reason do they have to strike Sector 5A, of all places? I don't know. Ch check the wave receiver. Huh. There's two signals. The, the power gem and... No, it all makes sense. No way Egad would stick to a plan we could already see coming. He must know something that we don't. Drybones, assemble everybody in the elite force and get to Sector 5A as soon as possible. Parabones, run a sweep of the plush kingdom and make sure none of those apes are anywhere near us. Yes, boss. Uh, 
Work in the intercom fucking blows. <sighs> this body is weak. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> Stupid bathrobe, this thing won't freaking come off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Someone help. God damn it, Claude, you're a fucking baby. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Ooh. All right, now get out of the way. So, Egad, when are we leaving? Well, when everyone's ready, I suppose. Well, well you you guys are ready, right? Yeah, yeah let's go. Okay, let's go. okay, then, let's go. Oh, well, all right, then. All right, guys, let's go. Wait, really? We're, we're leaving? J just like that? What, did you expect a different answer? I don't know, I just thought it'd be harder, I guess. No, everything's ready. Mewtwo, you ready to roll? As I'll ever be. Alright, well, recapping the plan one more time. Mewtwo's gonna teleport us all there, we're gonna fire off the super weapon, hopefully killing, if not most, all of them, and then we rush in, wipe out the rest, take the jewel, find Skeletor, and Skeletor. Could I possibly make myself any clearer? Clyde, I'm looking at you. Wait. Was Clyde. Congratulations, baby Luigi. Here is your first gun. Clyde, you dumbass, that's a child! We need all the help we can get, right? It doesn't matter anyway, he's knocked out. <sighs> Where's he going? We're teleporting, aren't we? Yes, but I sent him to go out and watch for a little bit since baby Luigi will be waiting here. And will not be going into any war zone. Fing dumbass. Hey, hey, why are you doing it? <sighs> Whoa! What the hell? Hey, you guys, you might want to come see this. What? The... No one's here. Pull, pull the bodies. They're, they're gone. It's only been a few hours since we last checked, and all the blood, and all the bodies. It's. it's. it's gone. Well, we still have the ones that we killed. Well, that doesn't count. Something is not right here. Go ask Mewtwo whether he's ready or not. Got it. I have a very worsening feeling about this. All the bodies are gone. What? They're all gone? We don't know how or why, but it's in our best interest to leave when we can. You four know when to hide if anything comes up? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sure. Sure. Alright. Mewtwo, we're ready when you are. Just give me like 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds? It's not gonna be some weird light show like last time? Well, I'm also teleporting like half less people. Oh please, we all know it's just because SMPB1 doesn't want to edit it. There was even a scheduled fight scene with Parabones that was supposed to happen 30 seconds from now. That isn't. Hey man, lay off. The previous fight scene wasn't supposed to happen, but SMPB1 did it. Okay, I think we've broken the fourth wall more than enough in this video. Agreed, get us out of here, Mewtwo. So you know how when you sit in one place for too long, your ass bones just start to hurt like shit? Yeah. How do you think Skeletor feels? Shut up, Clyde. <sighs> you ready for the circuitry? No, actually, not really. <sighs> All right, ready the super weapon. Okay, everyone, as soon as this thing blows, we run in and sweep through the rest. Be quick on your feet and fight smart. No pressure, but this is a one-shot attempt. This is do or die. We either win big, or we lose. Everything. Yeah, guys, no pressure. Bring no survivors, good luck, and may God be with you all. Open the gates. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Give them hell. What the f***? Let me glide peace through the meta night. Go fight those guys. We'll handle these guys. Got it! Some of these are birds! I feel fine. Yes, we got him! Wait, I've got the fire stuff on the other side. What? Mm, nothing. That's what I thought. Grenade to the gout! <laughs> 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 Let's go. Right. Mewtwo, do it. Holy shit. Lay the troops down there. I'm calling Skeletor. What happened here? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> my artillery. My soldiers. My ammunition. Where are you hiding, Egad? You must be around here somewhere. <sighs> what the hell? There's no one here. Don't say that. They must be around here somewhere. My radar was just saying there was a big power signal coming from right here somewhere. No way they could have gotten that far. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, my apologies, Skeletal. Was I radiating too many ways? Everyone, fall back! <laughs> Go, go, go! I believe my work here is done. <laughs> what? We're being invaded. The survivors are here. Okay, I'm coming in with the battalion. Stall them. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to happen.
Contriver would secure the turret. Horobu would take to the skies. Buy as much time as you can. <laughs> Can't grieve now. We must press forward. Yeah, guys, it's just Clanters. Let's get it. You and the platoon will be here in ten minutes. Oh, you'll be here sooner. Alright, got it. You guys got no more than ten minutes to entertain me. I suggest you make him laugh. <laughs> oh, so that's how we're gonna play. Well, two can play at that game. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, 
Egad! Egad, are you okay? Yeah, pea shooter. Ugh. I only got socked in the face by an axe. Ugh. I consider myself lucky. Well, good news, Egad. Clanterus is gone. Uh, everyone's kind of... Well, and the gem is ours! Go grab it, Toretti, damn it! Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Open this damn gate. You had one fucking job. Looking for this, Skeletor? My amulet. You and me, Skeletor, one-on-one. -on -one. You use the energy you stole from me, and I will use the energy I stole from you. Let's kill him, sir. This is my fight. Boss, this is stupid. Hush now, Parabones. If I need help, I'll signal the rest of you to jump in. Let's finish this! Where did he go? Okay, if we don't step in now, there might not be any time left. Go, Zerkatree! You got it, Marshadow. What the? No, th this can't be right. Well, when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. We were promised lives after this war. We were deceived. Let's end this war once and for all. Uh, no way. Not if I have anything to say about it. I swore my life to Skeletor, and I am not giving that up. Parabones, are you with me? <sighs> Forgive me, brother. <laughs>
any last words, be shooter. <laughs> no? <laughs> Didn't think so. No! What? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> <sighs> What? The the superstar's power. It's it's run out. What? No, this can't be. No, no! Your chain finally ran out of juice. No! 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 Oh, chain and cape are the source of his power. No! This is for all the innocent families' lives you've terrorized and destroyed. For those you've tortured, spat upon, and mortally abused. For those you heinously executed, battered, and beaten. And for all the unknown civilizations from the 14 planets before ours you tormented and drove to extinction. Let your unabsolvable sins be your end! Long live skeleton. Finally over. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. But it's got 
Breaking news, the fear and the carnage is finally over. After months of seeking refuge, a division of heroes led by Professor Egad launched an operation to finally put the Skeletor regime to an end. These heroes included Pea Shooter, Lemmy, Clyde, Meta Knight, Gatling P, Greninja, Daroach, Mewtwo, Superbean, Jojo the Dry Bones, and Susie. Rumors are spreading between survivors that the operation involved a gigantic plasma death ray cannon of some sort, and an unknown crystal of untold power. I even heard Luigi and Pea Shooter's kids were found alive at Zomboss's lair. Although I did hear Pea Shooter's daughter had multiple huge gashes in her stem. Can't wait to hear the story on that. Maybe they'll even write a book about it. It must be super complex and full of hardships. Regardless, Egad and his team's selflessness and will to stop the tyranny has earned all of them a government-issued statue of the crew in Central Plush Kingdom. It's scheduled to be constructed sometime in the next year. Speaking of government, as of now, Professor Egad and a few trustees have assumed SMPB1's position and for now, their primary focus is rounding up those still alive and dissecting all the events leading up to now to let them know we are now safe again. Fortunately for us all, Skeletor the Conqueror is finally presumed dead. According to a previous statement from Professor Egad, Pea Shooter was the one who killed Skeletor by firing an enormous laser which left nothing but the remains of Skeletor on the ground. Graphic? Grotesque? Maybe, but I think we can all agree that we are more than satisfied with this outcome. Unfortunately for those not with us today, the old Plush Kingdom government 1-up supply is still nowhere to be found. Survivors across the kingdom have come together in search of the lost 1-up stash. Until then, the following are pronounced dead. Pea Shooter, Sunflower Queen, Luigi, Kirby, Meta Knight, Sonic, Jojo the Dry Bones, the Baldi <coughs> Toadsworth, and f does that teleprompter say? Finally, four individuals with unknown whereabouts, Marshadow, Sunflower, Mario, and SMPB1. Up next we have an exclusive interview with Professor Egad to offer a comprehensive breakdown of how he and his team put an end to Skeletor's havoc. For a comprehensive breakdown of how he and his team put an end to Skeletor's havoc. Huh.
Well, you know what that means, SMP B1. Uh what? Well, you know what I was told. If all else fails, detonate the poison capsule and kill SCP B1, then burn the plush kingdom one up stash. <sighs> I've waited so long to do this. <sighs> Say your final goodbyes. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? Are you here to break me out? God fucking damn it!